Alrighty. 100 days of planning. Well, I haven't done done much of planning in the last few days because I've been getting prepared for what I'm about ready to put in the ground. I've got several tomatoes. I've got squash that we planted earlier in the week. I've got, um, oh, what else? <clears throat> I'm probably going to plant a little bit of lettuce out in the garden because i got to thin these out. This is stuff that you saw us plant early, uni and planted. Same with these. I'll thin these out and plant some of these in the garden. and Then I'll eat some of this stuff too. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here, we got the lettuce that we planted there. The lettuce that we planted here. And then we've got these plants. I'm actually going to put some seeds out of this. These are the, the sunflowers. We had a little, a couple little um, earwigs get in here and they actually ate on the plant. And we got tomatoes. We're going to plant all those tomatoes. We've got, plant, got some basil. Got squashes that we planted. Me and Ian planted, remember, in the squashes. But anyways, let me show you what I've really been busy with. I've been trying to get everything um, ready for all this stuff. Plus, I put some mulch around my beds. This is where I got my onions over there. But I actually put cardboard down all of it. It's just cardboard, man. It's just cheap. You can get it for free anywhere. Underneath all this mulch is cardboard. And I won't have to worry about weeds coming up through this ground at all. So I got this all the way around it couple feet around it all the way around. Well, I'm slowly going to add wood chips. But I wanted to do this because this is really my, and it's, you know it's really nice to walk on. Once you get it all packed down, it's really tender on the feet. But right now it's a little tough because it hasn't been flattened out. you got to be careful because there's some pretty good chunks of um, um, bark in here. And some, you know, fairly good chunks of um, <clears throat> wood too, you know, I mean, wood splinters. But most of it seems to be beat up really good, so it's not really any real sharp stuff on it. As you can see, here's the carrots are finally starting to really come up. The carrots coming up. I gotta thin those out really quick. Some of the places didn't come out, I'll replant a few of them. It doesn't matter. I'll I plant enough of them, I can replant some of them. Oh, I'm not sure what that is. I think that may be rutabagas. Rutabagas, I think. And I don't know what happened to some of the stuff we planted over here the other day. I think we planted um, beet and collard and something else. And I don't see any spinach yet either. Spinach should be coming up here pretty quick. Because I know we planted some spinach somewhere in here. The radishes are looking really good. Potatoes. I'm going to have to box those in. Pretty soon I'll show you how that's going to be done. I just have little slats that go on each side. And then I'm going to fill it in with hay. Maybe a little bit of soil or something on top of the hay. I don't know if I'm going to even do that. I may just do all hay. And um, see what happens. So, so anyways, I've been working on that. <clears throat> Plus I had to get all my lines. I know you saw all the the um, plants that we planted. In fact, I need to feed these guys too because I haven't given any full. I'm going to actually make a, a compost tea, a natural compost tea from my worm castings. Um, but anyways, you can see I run the drip lines. Let's show you. See, there's a little half a galloners. They're running for like 30 minutes, twice a day. I may even up that as it gets hotter, but you can see they're lighter green. They need to be you need a little bit of little bit of um, food to get them popping. So, but so I put all that in, and then I did all this around here. I fixed all these back in here. These are all need to be redone. And then I've been going around, and I actually rode a till the way all along here. Put in line for a drip all the way around. 
the drip. And this is all going to be where all of our vegetables are along this fence. You know, eventually they'll actually be out. You can see that right there. Eventually my vegetables will probably be a little bit further out here. I'll probably grow a lot of my vegetables along here and along this fence most of the time. Because then it only doesn't get the morning sun. It gets just hot noon and then the rest of the day. And so. And then of course I've got my um, I'll be growing probably some beans and stuff on the on this trellis right here. I'm gonna go a little bit higher this year, and I'm actually gonna kind of make it like a teepee a little bit. I'm gonna take this off and make it out of wood. It'll be like a teepee. So, all right. So, anyways, and then I put all the lines in for drip already. I got everything running, so these are all on. Drip, as you can see, I got drip lines going down into each one of them. See the little one-gallon drippers, or yeah, half-galloners. I did half-galloners because you can run up to almost a thousand on some of these lines if you're just doing half-galloners. You got the right pressure. I got about freaking 65 gallons. Got all the trees on it. I'm actually going to drill some PVC down on these into the ground down deep and I'm going to put the line inside of the PVC pipe. That way it waters from the bottom instead of from the top. Trees don't like it as much on the top, especially if you're watering daily. If it's down low it's not so bad, but if it's on top they won't do as good a root system. They like to go down deep. So I'm going to put like a 24 inch pipe. PVC, big enough to put a gallon, half gallon dripper in there. I stuff that pipe down inside of the PVC and then it waters from down below. And let's see. Got all the got all the um, artichokes. They're all on drip. Got all the uh, broccoli. It's all on drip you now. It's getting the sprayers. I've got the little adjustable sprayers on it. You can see right there. They're called the bubblers. You can see them. Yeah, go all the way around here. Got the first thing we planted this year was the asparagus. And as you can see, some of them has died off, but that's okay, they'll reseed. I'm going to compost all this really good too. They'll come back and they'll start spread. They'll do their thing. And let's see. Got the raspberries on. So they're getting water twice a day over here. And let's see, what else? Now I'm getting ready to put all these roses on. Actually that rose over there is getting moved. That rose right there is going to get moved over to this trellis right here. It's going to be on one side of it and one of these other ones I think is a climber too so we're going to move it over to, over there with it and it's going to have red roses on it. Then I got the raspberry or the blackberries that we planted, the um, thornless. He and Ian planted those and then we come around and we already had some blackberry bushes that we actually when we first moved in here we got the best blackberries off of these bushes and we had I made two blackberry cobblers out of it maybe I think two maybe three anyways you can see the the blackberries and so I put drip on all those in like five places and it's nice because there's a wall right here so I'll keep them pretty tame so they don't get in his yard and stuff and then the wall will keep them from going through it won't go underneath that brick wall so I, this will just be all blackberries. It's going to be cool. I can't wait to see it. So anyways. Alright. So that's pretty much what I've been working on. And uh, so right now I think we're on day 29 is going to be our next day of planting. But I just wanted to do, you can see I put some trimmings and I'm actually gonna this is oh and here's the raspberries 
I got the raspberries on drip now. They're all on, no, no, these are blueberries, the blueberries. Blueberries, these are on drip. Then I'm gonna put some uh, more mulch in here. Might even put a little bit of cardboard inside of this too. Just a little layer on the bottom of it so it covers all this up. It all becomes organic underneath the cardboard, you know. It's just food for the plants. Plants feed plants. They feed themselves every year. You want to feed a plant, take some plant matter, let it dry out, bury it, mix it in, whatever, it'll become nutrient for the plants. There's another raspberry. I'm going to make these, these a little bit wider. They're kind of small. I need to make them a little bit wider. And anyway, <clears throat> you can see the path turned out pretty cool. I mean, this stuff's probably about four inches. I think it's about three or four inches thick. It's about how thick I made it. And this is probably about, I'm guessing, oh, I'm guessing this is a, like a yard, probably a yard and a half of mulch. So, anyways, look at the onions. Look at, they're starting to burst. Remember I showed you, I showed, told you I'd show you the onions? Well, watch this, they actually... They're starting to burst. Look at that. Look at that. So you can see how they popped open. And there's the little seeds right there. And these are almost ready. As soon as these all pop open, I can take these and take them off, let them dry out, and I'll have, oh, here's a good one right here, and then I'll have lots of seed if I just want to plant from seed. And from what I've heard and what I've read, seed, supposedly, when you, it, it, pres, it holds, preserves better, depending on the onion, it preserves better for a longer period of time if you plant from seed. The less you transplant, the better. Hmm. I'm trying to get a good picture of that. There we go. Anyways, they're starting to pop. As soon as those all open, I'll cut all these off and let them fall over and they'll fatten up. Should be able to harvest them. Actually, they'll fall over on their own, really. And then they're ready to harvest. So if I when I cut the bulbs off and the little top start, they'll start growing really fast when I cut the bulbs off because that's where all the energy is going right now to these bulbs. And then as soon as I cut them off, then it'll all go into the plant and they'll grow up. And you'll watch the bulbs will get fat on them. Anyways, so here's some torpedo onions. Or shallots, either one. Peter's or shallots, I can't remember. I had both actually, so might be that place might be shallots right there. I got torpedoes over there. All right. So 100 days of planting. We still have 20. Um, we're still at I think 29 days. So I'm gonna be doing some planting for 29 in the next few days. Um, so anyways, we'll see you next time on 100 Days of Planning.